In the introductory video to this series on quantum computing using Python, I mentioned that I've been working on a website that will contain all of the content that we'll cover in the series of videos. Now the website is now active, so you can go to learnquantum.io and there you will find a lot of useful information, like for example, how to set up your environment, so all the steps you need to follow to install the packages that we will need to execute code, or uh, how to configure Qiskit to be able to run your circuits on IBM's quantum hardware, or how to change the configuration file to make your circuits look nicer or your state vectors uh, be displayed in LaTeX. Now the website is still a work in progress, so there are uh, some sections that don't have any content in them yet, but I, I will start putting in everything as we go over this specific subjects in uh, the course. Now, if you go to this about the textbook section, there are two important links I've added in there. So one of them is if you have any questions, you can go to this discussions section. So if you click on that link, it will take you to the GitHub repository that hosts this textbook. And then you can create a new discussion to ask any questions that you might have about the technical content of the textbook. So if there's anything that is not clear enough in either the video series or the textbook itself, uh, you can go ahead and create a discussion and, and ask that question. Similarly, I have a link to this issues section that will take you to the issues in the GitHub repository. So if, if there are any typos or for example, some code that might not be working correctly, or even if you find something that you believe is technically incorrect, then you can open a new issue and specify exactly what's wrong so I can take a look at it. So I hope this resource is helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, again, just go here to the discussion section and uh, let me know.